A 4.8 magnitude earthquake shook Tokyo this morning. There are no reports of damage, no tsunami warnings were issued. But a year ago, the tsunami that hit Japan dumped 5 million tons of debris into the Pacific Ocean, and much of it is now headed this way. As Nancy Cordes reports, government scientists are telling Congress to prepare for a potential disaster. From a Harley Davidson motorcycle to barrels of chemicals, tsunami debris is already washing ashore on the West Coast. In March, the U.S. Coast Guard had to sink a 160 foot fishing vessel that had floated all the way from Japan. Many people said we wouldn't see any of this impact till 2013 or 2014. What we're hearing is it's here. How do we deal with it? At a hearing Thursday, senators from western states grilled a top U.S. environmental official. They wanted to know how his agency is planning to deal with the field of trash roughly three times the size of the contiguous United States, headed this way quicker than expected. We do not have uh, the funds to, to mount a cleanup, especially in areas as remote as Alaska. David Kennedy is with NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. He said it's not clear whether all 1.5 million tons of debris will make it across the Pacific. How much of that is still going to be floating and available to come ashore? We don't have a clue. Another thing no one seems to know is how the debris field will affect marine life. Fishing is a multi-billion dollar industry in the Pacific Northwest. What you're most worried about is that it's going to affect your economy. Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington State wants to know who's going to coordinate the cleanup of potentially hazardous trash. We want a plan to see, see exactly how they're going to deal with it. And it won't be cheap. The cost to remove one small sailboat that washed up on a Pacific atoll was $1.2 million. For CBS This Morning, Nancy Cordes, Washington. Moving on to the continuing nuclear crisis in Japan, a radioactive wave is headed toward the United States. Scientists with the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution are tracking debris from last year's Japanese earthquake and tsunami as it makes its way across the Pacific Ocean. That debris, which carries with it extremely high levels of radiation, is currently 186 miles off the coast of Japan and could start lashing the coast of the United States within the year, depending on the currents. Scientists are immediately concerned about marine life being hit with radiation levels millions of times above normal. But by next year, it'll be in our marine food supply, our rain, and our coastal waters. So more than a year after the Fukushima nuclear crisis began, the world is still suffering its effects, with more to come. But despite all that, the Japanese government is reportedly preparing to restart one of its nuclear reactors. This week, the Japanese prime minister will meet with cabinet officials to discuss turning on a nuclear reactor in western Japan that's been sh shut down since the Fukushima crisis began more than a year ago. So why hasn't the world learned the lessons of nuclear power yet, even as radioactive waste is headed toward the U.S. West Coast?